Thanks for joining me again, everybody. Now, today we have got a pretty cool video for you. You guys send in some amazing hacks via our uploader, and we love seeing the ingenious ways that you come up to fix these little everyday small problems, some of them big problems. However, you guys also send in some crazy ass bodges, some very, very scary ones indeed. And today we are celebrating all things scary bodge with a collection of my finest. So let's dive right in to some of the scariest bodges you guys have sent in our way. First up then, and this has got to be one of my favorites. This was sent in a while ago by a chap called Andy. Now, have you ever heard of the old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Well, poor old Andy broke it and needed to fix it. Now, he hasn't sadly said where, how, or when he did this, but out on a ride, I can only assume poor old Andy broke a brake lever. Mid-ride, I guess he stopped at a cafe, found a metal spoon and you know, proceeded to perform a procedure on his bike known as replace a lever. He has made an ingenious brake lever out of a bent teaspoon, fixing it on with zip ties and gaffer tape, even recreating the curve on it to make, well, this masterpiece. I mean, look at that. It is something pretty blooming special. But hey, if it works and you've bodged it good and proper, it got you home, then that's a win in my book. Nice one, Andy. Next up is this truly terrifying bodge by Adam, and this is something pretty blue and special as well. Now, we've all heard the saying as well, throwing a spanner in the works, and Adam, well, he truly has thrown a spanner in the works. I mean, look at this. I can only imagine he had an old 142 space and hub, but in the frame, it's 148. Now, 142, it goes into 148, but you got a little bit left over. So instead of, uh, well, changing the spaces on the hub or making a proper spacer, Adam has ingeniously used a spanner. He has thrown, quite literally, a spanner in the works. Nicely done, Adam. So after we figured out 142 and 148 leaves a six mil gap, well, Adam put the spanner in there. But he didn't just, you know, it looks terrifying, because let's face it, that looks like it is gonna get caught up in your wheel pretty good and proper. So he, you know, cleverly, tucked it out the way and tied it in place with some very thin zip ties. So good thinking there. And at a later date did cut it down. So it wasn't going to cause any kind of all dangly, tangled, dangerous mess. So good job, dude. And I'm actually pretty amazed that the, you know, the gears lined up good, the disc lined up good, and it, it worked. Nice one. Yeah, that's amazing. Normally, you might measure the wear and tear on your tire, should we say, by the depth of the tread that's left on it. But old Harry here, he's taking it a step further. He's gone past the tread and he thought, let's measure it on how well the casing's going to hold up, how warm the casing can get. And lo and behold, the casing did not hold up. Poor old Harry got a puncture out on the trail. But wait, this is where the bodge comes in. What do you do when you've got a hole in your tyre and you need to get home? Well, you're going to have to bodge it. And bodge it he did, sanding down an old gift card that he found in his wallet. Harry then wedged that between the inner tube and the tyre to bridge the gap, stop the tube poking out sort of thing and managed to get home. Uh, I mean, that's pretty ingenious. Nice one, mate. The ingenuity of mountain bikers, I like to think, is second to none. I mean, you guys out there come up with some pretty amazing ideas. And I know, even myself, I like to think I've come up with a few good hacks and bodges here and there along the way. But take Matt's, for example, here. This is an absolute gem. Matt wanted a lockout on his fork. Now, rather than splashing the cash on the expensive damper and the remote lockout that goes on your bars and all the gubbins that comes with it, Matt thought, hmm, I know, a water bottle will do. Now, to be fair to him, his lockout did actually stop working. So he used what he had to hand, which was his water bottle, to correct the problem. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can hear the water bottle rattling from here. Goodness gracious me, I mean, look at this next, I mean, look at that. Poor old Nathan's been through the ringer on this one. This has got to be terrifying in any situation. Broken handlebars are a terrifying thing to happen. I mean, a snapped bar is never a good bar, so we hope you're okay after this one. To be fair to him, that is some pretty decent rope skills right there. Now, we don't have much to go on on this one, but it looks like Nathan was out testing some trails when the worst case scenario happened and <coughs> bars snapped. Luckily, finding a branch of a similar diameter, he was able to bodge his way home and uh, make the best of a bad situation, should we say? But I mean, look at that. Lord, that was be terrifying. I mean, I just hope you didn't have to go too far or put too much weight on that 
excellent bodge. Good job, sir. That is truly scary. Well, if you thought that that was the end of zip ties and gaffer tapes fixing things, then look no further. Poor old Rachel and her husband were out riding some downhill trails near to them when the husband sent it off a drop and heard a massive crack snapping that fork arch. And I mean, I'd have loved to have heard that because that takes a lot of force to snap one of them. I know that for sure. Anyway, to the rescue were zip ties and gaffer tape. They can fix anything with this. And so they did, fixing it well enough to be able to ride home the three miles where they came from. And because they rode home, I can only assume that he was okay. Or at least I hope you're okay, man, because that must have been horrible. Well done, guys, for sending that bodge in. That's another scary merry one. Oof. But we're nearly there. We've, what have we got left? Let's have a look. Oh, my goodness me. It's tandem time. Not random tandem, but tandem time. What the hell? This one looks crazy. I mean, if tandems weren't scary enough, look at this concoction from Sage. Now, putting the random tandem to shame, I would say, is this crazy bracket that Sage has built to connect two bikes together. So you fix the two bikes together, and then best of all, you can disconnect it and you've got two bikes again. But, fair play, Sage. I mean, that's pretty bonkers. You can take them apart, but you can still, you can steer the rear bike. I mean, He's created an absolute monster, a freewheeled bendy tandem. That's a straight up 11 out of 10 for the terrifying factor. So you, we finished on a crazy one there. I need, I need to take a motor to just take that in. Whew. Well, I mean, anyway, that is it. That is the, some of the scariest bodges you guys have sent in. Don't forget, keep sending them into the uploader because we love seeing your hacks and bodges. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, also click subscribe if you want to see more. I know I want to see more of your bodges. They're great. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Catch you next time and stay safe. Stay safe bodging for sure. See you later.